can't believe. Not anymore. There's nothing left to believe in. Nothing. Once upon a time, there lived a girl who, like many girls, watched fairy tales. She looked through rose-colored glasses, didn't stress much. Life was lovely, to say the least. But as she grew up, she learned that life isn't always so colorful and fun. It's going to get complicated, confusing. We're going to be in some bad spaces. We're going to break down, be weak, lose ourselves. Sometimes to a point where we can no longer see sunsets in darkness. But to be human is to understand that happiness isn't a constant that pain isn't a constant. She realized she can rise up from anything. She can completely recreate herself. And so she set off on the globe journey. So for what it's worth, I hope this story makes you realize that it is never too late to be whoever you want to be. I hope you live a life you're proud of. And if not, I hope you have the strength to start over with this journal that she made from the heart during a rough time. The sun is coming up again Looking like it's gonna be a problem Cause I'd be lying to you if I said This ain't a thing and I've been looking for a new one I keep on waiting for the weekend Gonna hit you up and tell you that I want ya Cause I just wanna feel like this again Oh, oh, oh All I wanna do is feel awesome Yeah, yeah, yeah All I wanna do is feel awesome can you make me feel awesome? Up and down, side to side, and then back and forth, up all night again. Me and you, left and right. The introduction chapter is very important because you will reflect back on this often for motivation and your purpose. Humans are visual creatures, so I decided to create this dream board for my first page. I printed out a bunch of images that embody my dream self and transformed it into a collage. Then I chose this quote that powerfully resonates with me. I taped this marble design as a foundation just to make it more aesthetic. I recommend you check out my Globe Diary Instagram account and my Pinterest for a ton of images and quotes to find what suits you. I used a sparkly washi tape for the border to make the quote stand out. The quote says, every once in a while you get a glimpse of the person you could be. Grab that, hold on to that, work for it. Nothing is out of reach. Continuing the introduction page, we're making this dream self more real by describing him or her. Part of the enjoyment and getting you excited is the process of designing the page. Don't be scared if you don't have any idea how to do this. Everyone starts somewhere, and let's just say I started with no artistic ability. I highly recommend you check out my journaling folder on Pinterest where I have everything covered from drawing tips to templates, collage layouts, and doodles to recreate. So I'm drawing this balance wheel I found on Pinterest because I think balance is a major key to happiness and consistency. Now I'm answering some questions. What does she eat? What habits does she have? Who surrounds her? What is her physique like? How does she feel when she looks in the mirror? What is she doing? How is her work ethic? How does she respond to those around her? What is her fashion style like? What are her overall feelings about life? Remember, the more specific your answers are, the better. I remember just the feeling of excitement in my heart describing this person. To dream wildly without limits and believe you are 100% capable of getting there. Special thanks to Skillshare for partnering with me. They are the perfect partner for this video as I've been recently taking their doodling classes. Specifically Carla's video class, basic doodling and resources to use. She taught me how to do easy on the go doodles that adds more flavor and personality to my pages. So that's why I'm able to draw a lot more things now since my last journaling video, guys. For those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 25,000 courses where you can take classes on anywhere from filmmaking and binding your own journal to music and business. It's just a place where you can explore and develop a new interest. And later in this Globe Diary journal, we will be going over self-investment activities. 
So if you don't know what you want to start and where to learn, try Skillshare. So far in the journaling classes, I've progressed so much quicker with my drawing skills because their courses are taught by experts in the area. A premium membership is less than $10 a month, but I hooked you guys up with a two free month trial. You just need to click the link in my bio to get access to that. The last segment to the introduction is the problem and solution. Getting your life together requires a level of honesty you can't even imagine. Self-love isn't only about saying kind things to yourself, it's also about calling yourself out on things, addressing your problematic thoughts and behaviors, looking at your mistakes square in the eye and re-strategizing. Now I'm reporting my problematic state. I'm sitting in a cafe reflecting on the last few months of my life and I'm very disappointed in myself. I've been lazy, procrastinating, haven't achieved as much as I could have, going to bed late and waking up late, consuming unhealthy food and binging, neglecting knowledge, thinking negatively. I'm fearful of a lot of things. I stay in my comfort zone. I just feel like a loser and miss who I used to be. This girl full of fire, drive, determination, discipline, and confidence. On that same problem page, I put a realize section. Realize you can rise up from anything. Realize you can completely recreate yourself. Nothing is permanent. You can think new thoughts. You can learn something new. You can create new habits. All that matters is that you decide today and never look back. So I don't have a straight cutter and cutting with scissors looked really uneven, so here's how I rip the paper perfectly straight. Fold the paper into a crease once or twice each side and then lick the crease a little. Start a small tear at the start of the crease and slowly pull apart. For the solution page, I identified four key components I needed to succeed and emphasized that on the page. Goals, habits, discipline, and balance. Then I created this word of advice page and wrote down the top six quotes that I found that gave me a push and answer to fixing my situation. Here are the quotes that I found, and again, refer to my Twitter, Glow Up Diary Instagram account, or my real Instagram account because I do post this kind of stuff, or my Pinterest for words of wisdom. You often feel tired, not because you've done too much, but because you've done too little of what lights a fire inside you. Two, get to the point where your mind is saying stop. Wherever that is, get there first and then push yourself. That's when things start to work for you. Three, eat your food as your medicine, otherwise you will have to eat your medicine as your food. Four, you have the power to shut out that weak, fearful, insecure voice. The world is in our minds. Five, you create yourself. At the bottom of laziness, insecurity, fear, self-doubt was you. How you get out of it is by recognizing it and being honest and truthful and then fixing it. And six, become obsessed about the things you want. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lifetime obsessing with making up excuses as to why you didn't get the life you wanted. And then I made this cutout of the words, but I did it anyway. I read this story about this person who went through a lot of hardships and he said it was so hard, but I did it anyway. And those last few words really stuck with me. Chapter one, routines. So I'm not the best at making small decisions sometimes. I really feel sorry for my future boyfriend when he asks me where we want to go to eat. But anyway, I'm taking a poll on my Glow Up Diary Instagram story to see which washi tape you guys think I should use for this chapter. So there's a whole chapter on routines because the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. By creating routines, you're creating habits that will cause chain reactions in other parts of your life. Just an example, I had noticed that when I woke up earlier at a set time, that keystone habit of waking up early caused a ripple effect. A chain of reactions to exercise, make healthier food choices, increase productivity levels, and a well-formulated night routine will help you wind down and sleep better, which has so many long-term benefits. Chapter two, exercise. Fitness is about so much more than working out. It's a catalyst for positive changes and it affects every aspect of your life. So the first thing is creating my workout schedule. I'm currently working on a fat burning body transformation workout series. It's going to be like nothing you've seen before. Chances are, if you're watching this video in 2020, the workout series is out on my channel and it'll be in the description of this video. So that's what I mean when you see I write full body, arms, legs, I'm doing those workouts. Secondly, write down your purpose. 
why are you exercising? Change occurs when you have a stronger why. Exercising didn't become something I got excited about until I had a better purpose. My reason went from I'm doing this to lose weight to what I wrote. I want to become stronger physically and mentally. There is not a bone in my body doing this to lose weight. I exercise so I can become a better yogi and dancer, improve my balance, achieve my trick goals. I want to push myself to see the amazing abilities and magic my body is capable of. I became excited when I started focusing on what my body can do rather than what it could look like. The body image just became a plus that came along with achieving my goals. While I did get excited, I knew there would be times when I would come up with an excuse for why I can't exercise, so it's best to be prepared for when those situations come up. I came up with every excuse I could think of and a solution for them, and I wrote down the tricks that I wanted to achieve. Over splits, middle splits, balancing my elbow and handstand for 10 seconds, front and back walkover, balance a crow pose for 5 seconds. Here's a little doodling tip from Olivia. Stars and hearts are very basic drawings, but I can never seem to draw them well, so I came up with little loopholes. To draw a good star, draw the regular one, and then erase the lines inside, and then connect the outside and fix it up a little. And then for a heart, draw two circles and connect the bottom with a V, then erase the inside and clean it up. Chapter 3, Food So I'm starting out by drawing this girl doing yoga in nature. I've had a rocky relationship with food, so at this point, I was really just trying to connect on that healthy, organic level. I wrote my mantra, and this is something I would constantly need to remind myself. I am eating to fuel my body so I can become an at-peace, strong, energized dancer and yogi, so I can glow and feel alive. Eat more plants, drink more herbal tea. Food is a healing power, my child. Disconnect your thoughts from food. These are two separate things. Your animal brain, aka irrational urges, is not you. Listen to your body. This is the beginning of loving your body and yourself and living life to the fullest. Welcome home. I said welcome home because we were all once kids with less problems, but as you grow older, problems arise, but you learn how to deal with it and move forward. Now imagination is much more powerful than many anticipate. When you imagine something, the same part of your brain that experiences something in reality lights up. Therefore, by picturing in your mind, it tricks your brain and in turn can keep you motivated along the journey. So I wrote this life that I imagined and none of it would be possible if food negatively clouded my thoughts. So you can go back and read this story and picture this life in your mind. Make it more real. So one of the things I struggled with in this area is emotional eating, so I came up with this page to fix it. Emotional eating is a habit I developed sometime in my life. Habits are comprised of three components. Cue, which is the trigger, routine, which is what you do, and reward, which is what it sounds like. So I identified my trigger, which was stress. The routine would be to eat, and reward is to feel better. Now I learned that habits are encoded into our DNA forever. Therefore, you can't break a habit, but you can change it by replacing the routine. So the cue is still stress, but this time the routine is a different activity, and the reward is that same feel-good feeling. There are other ways to feel better. Let me repeat that. There are other ways to feel better. So I wrote this little list of activities I could do instead of eating to replace that routine. Lastly, I created this routine so when that cue hits, I first set a 15-minute timer, then say out loud, there are other ways to feel better. Then go do that activity, and after the timer goes off, if my body is still hungry, I will have a small snack. Now I also created a weight tracker. This can be kind of contradicting as I did say in the previous page that my choices aren't affected by my weight. But I do think it's okay if you aren't affected in a negative way to keep track of your progress. If you aren't sensitive to this topic, you can set little rewards. There's nothing wrong with telling yourself you can treat yourself to buying some of those journal pens you wanted if you meet that week's goal. Please keep in mind that everybody is different. Some are triggered by this while others, it's a great motivation. The last page to this chapter is a meal plan and habit tracker. A goal without a plan is asking for no success. Plan your next day's meal and adjust accordingly. Now I wrote what I planned to eat in black, and if I end up eating off plan, I write whatever that was in a different color. Lastly is the habit tracker. 
I felt what I ate, my mood, productivity, water intake, and exercise were all connected in some way. So every day, I would put a dot next to each thing I did. If I didn't do it, I would not put a dot there. This also helped me spot triggers and small routines which allowed me to fix for the future. Chapter 4, School slash Work Printing out a pretty design for your background is a great way to give your journal more flavor. So here I'm addressing my work, but this could be for your school as well. I'm getting my goals clear and answering these four questions. What do you want? The more specific your answers are, the better. Why do you want it? What is holding you back? How will you do this? And this next page, I just created a simple weekly study planner. I created a study tips page for this last part. I printed out images that really romanticize school. It's a coping mechanism of mine. And put a quote at the bottom that would motivate me. You can find more collage ideas like this on my Pinterest in my journal folder. Chapter 5, Self-Investment The secret to an interesting life is to never let the curious kid in you die. Never stop learning new things. Carve time out of your week to invest in yourself, the greatest investment of all. Learn a new language, make a vision board, join an organization, save up money to travel. Redecorate a space that inspires you. Read more books, really study and expand your knowledge in areas you're curious about. Learn an instrument. If you don't know where or what to learn, you can do the two free month trial of Skillshare in the description of this video. Chapter six, money and budgeting. So I created a brief basic tips page when it comes to this area. If you want a whole video about how to budget, save and earn money, comment below. The most important advice, don't spend more than you earn. In the bottom right hand corner, I made a mini collage for the strongest reasons I am saving and earning money. For crazy travel experiences, comfort, so I can help my family so they don't have to worry about money anymore, and charity, donating and helping people in third world countries. The second tip, if you have a credit card, pay the balance every month because the interest on the credit card is too high. Third, always put 15% of your earnings to save. Open an account that has interest and put that 15% on the account with interest. Again, I can go into more depth if you want a whole video about this topic. Lastly, don't buy unnecessary stuff. If you're going to Target to buy groceries and you see this really cool makeup brush and you're like, well, I don't have one of these and it looks like something I could use. No, you don't need it. Only buy what you wrote on your list. This is a great money saving tip. Then, to keep my priorities straight, I created this chart of discretionary, meaning things that vary in costs and obligations. Lastly, a budget tracker, keeping track of what you buy, the date, and description. This can be helpful to see the total you spend every month. I personally document the discretionary costs rather than obligations since obligations are the same set payments every month. Chapter 7, Self-Care so for this first part, I'm just recreating the self-care page I found on Pinterest because I think it had a lot of important reminders that we forget because it's so basic. The process of drawing and writing these things helps internalize it in our mind and that's powerful because the world is in our minds. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. Also, I got so invested in journaling and then started to write about hydration and realized I hadn't drank water in a while. If you're watching this, join me as we have a glass of water. This next page I created myself, and it's a recharge your soul page. I think in today's society, we're so obsessed with being on the go and feeling guilty if you weren't productive. So this is just telling myself, it's okay. It's okay to slow down and have a lazy day. Netflix, a good book, tea or hot cocoa, scented candle, fuzzy blanket, my dog,
This last page isn't really a part of this chapter. It's just a theme page that I made afterwards. After you finish all the chapters, I recommend every week to make a theme page like this. Maybe that week you need some self-love in your life, so you create one. And also use your journal to document weekly, writing down your thoughts, behaviors, things that happened that week, creating new templates. I'm a huge believer in that journaling can change your life. You write about the things you struggle with or want to improve, and it forces you to order your thoughts. Track things on a regular basis, which will help hold yourself accountable. Remember, you are the only one responsible for giving yourself the life you want. And if you're just starting this whole glow up journey, know that growth is never comfortable, but I think that's the whole point of the process. It makes you deal with situations that you hadn't faced before only to strengthen you and give you more confidence, toughen you up, and growing through what you go through makes you see the potential in yourself that you didn't see before. Just see all the ways I can